In this problem, we have to integrate cosine to the 10th power of x times the sine of x. So whenever you have powers of sine and cosine, you always want to save a copy of the one that is being raised to the odd power. So in this case, the sine of x is being raised to the first power, so we want to keep that. So whenever you save a copy of sine, you let u be the other one, so u is equal to cosine. Even if you didn't have that memorized, you can kind of look at this problem and figure it out. If you let u be cosine, the derivative is negative sine, which kind of appears here. If you let u be equal to sine, the derivative is cosine, and that won't work because you have a cosine to the 10th power here. So if u is equal to cosine, the derivative of u is negative sine x dx. Now we don't have a negative sign in our integral, so we have to make this piece here look like what's in our integral up here. So to do that, we'll divide both sides by negative 1. That leaves us with negative du equals the sine of x dx. So now we're in a position to make the u substitution. So sine x dx is going to get replaced with negative du. Let's go ahead and pull out that negative sign. And then we're left with cosine to the 10th power. But cosine is u, so this is u to the 10th power. Now we use the power rule, so we drop the integral sign, we drop the du. So negative u to the 11 over 11 adding 1 and dividing by the result, plus c. And we're almost done. The last thing to do is replace u with cosine. So this is negative 1 11th cosine of x to the 11th power plus our constant of integration, capital C. So again, the trick is whenever you have powers of sine and cosine, just save a copy of the one that's being raised to the odd power. So for example, if you had cosine cubed x, sine squared x, dx, your cosine is being raised to an odd power. So what you would do is you would factor out a cosine from the cosine cubed and then write it over here with your dx. So you would save a copy of your cosine because it's being raised to an odd power. And then you would let u be equal to sine and go from there. That's it.